Welcome to the Preps Plus Insider. I'm Mike Finnerty of the Sure West Sports Show, joined by Joe Davidson, the Sacramento Bee, longtime Bee sports writer. You're entering your 25th year. How's that feel? Old, yeah. tired, but fun. We got great football around here. I think we're going to have as good a year as we've had in a long time. Um, it never gets boring. We could promise you that, and we've got an exciting show here to, to talk about it. Yeah, we do. We're going to be here every Monday on SACB.com. Five minutes. We're going to preview football games, talk about all the top players, but let's get right into it. We're going to open it up every week with Hot Topic. And Joe, the Hot Topic right now is coaching burnout. What's going on? And maybe it's not burnout. Maybe it's fatigue, but at all levels of athletic competition, we're seeing coaches flame out. Fatigue, burnout, whatever you want to call it. They are trying to find a balance on being a father and a husband and a parent, a coach, a teacher, and not running out of time to do it all. And we've seen some really good coaches step down. It's very likely that we may see Ernie Cooper return to Granite Bay at some point or somewhere. Uh, he may coach somewhere this, this fall, maybe a youth program, who knows? Same with Dave Humpers in Nevada Union, same with Chris Jones at Vista Del Lago. But you gotta find a balance so you're not running yourself into the ground. There's a lot of pressure because football is the wagon that carries an academic, uh, carries the whole school. It's a big identifier. There's this pressure and there's a degree of ego. Coaches <laughs> like to be in charge. So got to find balance. Sac Joaquin Section Commissioner Pete Sacco said it's a real concern. Yeah. We need those coaches. Well, Joe, let's get into uh, top players, top offensive players entering this year. Of course, we love to debate these, and I'm sure you have your own thoughts as well. But we're going to get into our top players to start this thing off. And let's start it off with uh, perhaps one of the, the best in our area. That's uh, Jake Browning, quarterback from Folsom. He was the superstar sophomore. He's a junior now, loads of experience, and he's confident. He's very confident, very poised, number one team for uh, legitimate reasons. 63 touchdowns a year ago as a sophomore, as you said, and he's even better this year. He's got receivers. He's got an offensive line. This guy is going to be around for a while. He's a national recruit. Very impressive player. Yes, he is. All right, let's talk about some running backs now. We've got a few of them on this list. Tony Ellis, and he's a flyback at Granite Bay. University of Arizona commit, can do a lot. He can certainly run the ball, but he can also catch the ball. Uh, we like this guy. Yeah, get him the ball. Get him the ball. You got a new coach in Skip Albano. What do you do? Feed your speed guy the ball. He's also going to play on special teams and on defense. How about Alex Van Dyke, receiver from Kasumi's Oaks? He, I don't even know if he's the best athlete in the whole dinner table because his father, by the same name, was pretty darn good at, at Burbank, Nevada, in the NFL a little bit. They're very close. Uh, Pops is hoping that Son passes him up, but this is a terrific player. And then you want to talk about another quarterback, Burbank's got a good one. Oh, they do. Ernest Jenkins, he's quick, he can throw, do it all, versatile. Uh, you don't want to sleep on this kid. He'll torch you. Yeah, he really will. And he he can he, he is so fast and explosive. And Coach John Heffernan wants to add more plays to his arsenal. And if you want a power guy with a little bit of speed, how about Wadis Parker, the wing T, super back out of Elk Grove High. What do they do down there with Chris Nixon, the coach? You feed your best backs. That's what they've done over the years, and he's the next guy. Yeah, Wade is Parker. He'll beat you up. If you want to debate us on these, find us on Twitter, at Joe Davidson, at Sherwa Sports. We want your thoughts. All right, Joe, let's uh, let's get into the games. They all start this Friday. We're excited, and we're going to talk a, a big matchup up Highway 50. Visit Del Lago at Oak Ridge. What's to make of this game? Oak Ridge got him big time last year. I don't know if that's going to happen this year. Well, uh, a lot of experience returning for Vista Del Lago. Matt Jefferson quarterback, Josh Pfeffer. And who's going to be the quarterback for Oak Ridge? Is it Jacob Sipes, who could play all kinds of different positions? He's a senior. Or is it sophomore Ian Book? Uh, Book and, and they're very impressed with him as well. Another one, Pleasant Grove at Rockland. Speed of Pleasant Grove. The toughness on defense of Rockland. This one went to the wire last year, won by Pleasant Grove. So we know that's going to be a good one. Antelope Del Campo, that's a good one too. Yeah, it is. You got Antelope who went to the playoffs last year, had some big time success. Del Campo, they're always tough. They run the ball. You know Mike DeMille is going to do that. This can be a good game. Quarterback Tyler McCombs, he's expected to have a big year. Uh, we look forward to that game. That's going to be a close one. And we're going to talk a little um, James Logan at Del Oro. Del Oro, they got their best offensive line ever. Yeah, they got the Campos brothers. Um, you have Tanner Woods. You've got uh, Tyler Mateer, Coach Casey Taylor. He's very simple. Going to run the ball. They got all kinds of running backs there. James Logan, a fast team, speed team, went nine and one last year in the regular season. It's only loss at Del Oro. So there you go. Over there. How about Intercom and Monterey Trail? You want to track me? Uh, Intercom has C.J. Spencer, 
the wing T quarterback, and then Monterey Trail with the Veer offense under Coach T.J. Ewing. That's a terrific, really nice matchup. And kudos for these teams for taking each other on early. Yeah, and get out Saturday to see Cass Robley take on Rio Americano. Cass are trying to bounce back from a 1-10 season, and I expect that they will. All right, Joe, uh, that's your high school football wrap-up for this Friday. Be sure to check out the Sugar West Sports Show on Comcast Sportsnet California this Tuesday, August 27th. It's our debut. It's at 3 p.m. And uh, you can also check out the Sugar West Sports Radio Show every Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. on ESPN 1320. And, Joe, you do a lot for the Bay, of course. Yeah, uh, every day in the Sacramento Bay. Um, and also on SACB.com, we have all kinds of links, photo galleries, stories galore. It's, there's, there's stuff everywhere. Yep. Full menu. You bet. Check us out next week as we prepare you for week one.